I'm back from the farmer's market, my favorite place to be, and I found some great potatoes. I'm gonna make you my lemony potato salad and we're gonna have a barbecue. So join me. I'm Shireen with Cook This. When I think of barbecue, I think of potato salad. I grew up eating potato salad, but this one's a lot different. I give it a lemon twist. I make it really lemony. Right now, I'm just prepping all my ingredients. I'm boiling my potatoes, so I have new potatoes. I filled them with cold water. That way they cook evenly, and I didn't cut them. So that's the trick. We don't want to waterlog them. We want to keep them nice, so that way they soak up all the lemon flavor. So for my potato salad, I like to add fennel, radishes, dill, and chives. After I pull out the potatoes, I'll douse it with tons of lemon, and that's going to soak in and seep, and that way, once it cools, you can do all your prep work. But it's nice to have this color of the radishes, the fennel, which gives it just a nice crunch, just a little more gourmet. So I'm just going to prep up all these ingredients, wait for my potatoes to finish cooking, and we're going to have an easy lemony potato salad. All right, so a little tip, just so you know if your potatoes are done. So see, I put them in there whole. That way they don't get waterlogged. Just take a paring knife and just pierce it. If it goes in gently, you're good to go. And they're perfect. So this is about 12 to 15 minutes. Now I'm just gonna drain them. So now they're whole, potatoes are nice and tender. I'm just gonna have them. Big ones I'll quarter. And they're hot, so just be careful. My, my hands are used to it. But this is what's gonna make a really amazing potato salad. And I've had so many potato salads that I really don't love. I feel they're sort of bland and boring. This one is just so bright and amazing. That's because of the lemon. Then, no potato salad would be a potato salad without mayo. We're gonna let this cool, and then we'll fold in the mayo and then all the other ingredients. All right, so this is the important step. They're nice and hot. I just diced them. I'm gonna squeeze the lemon juice right over top. And if you notice, I always give a measurement with lemon juice because some of them are really small, some of them are huge. So that way you know just the right amount of lemon that it needs. It's gonna soak it up. I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper right here and then let it set to the side to cool. After it cools, we'll fold in all the other ingredients. Give it a toss. Make sure everyone is soaking with lemon. All right, so I'm just chopping up my dill, getting that ready. My potatoes are cooling. I also got this from the farmer's market. Nice, good bunch of dill. I love dill. Just a nice rough chop. My potatoes are nice and cold. Perfect. Potato salad, can't be potato salad without mayo. So we have some mayo here. I'm gonna fold that in. I have our dill. Apparently, someone else is coming to our barbecue. I heard a toot toot. <laughs> Some dill, the fennel, radishes. So this is beautiful color. And I love that addition of the fennel. It gives that nice anise flavor. And of course, more lemon, lemon zest. And then I like to snip chives right over the top. So when I work in the corporate test kitchen, the girls always use kitchen shears, and I love that. I use it now, I cut my chicken with it and my chives, so right over the top, no perfect cuts. Just snip them right over top, see that? And then I'm just gonna finish it with a little garnish at the end too. Pop this in my serving bowl. I'm gonna put saran wrap right over top and pop it in the fridge just to chill it. That way it gets best flavor. So just about an hour or two, we just want it nice and chilled, and this is great, so you can prepare ahead. Pretty that is. Seriously? Wow, I love this. So now I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator to let it chill one to two hours for its best flavor and get ready for my barbecue. I hope for your next barbecue, you'll give this lemony potato salad a try. Go to our newspaper's website for the recipe or check out tweetneats.com. Enjoy.